the day turns into the night. Now the forest and the moonlight, where the fair flower glow, it brings the one magic show. As soon as Jenya told me that the first song is ready, uh, in the next few days, I was in his studio already recording the first song. And it was absolutely exciting. It was everything I've expected, absolutely everything and better. And then it just, after a few weeks, we, we recorded the second song. And then it's just was going and going and going. Uh, he could be sending me different intros, outros, uh, this character song, that character song, and I was just in the, I was completely blown away how fast he does this, but it wasn't, I, I think it's not surprising because I think it was cooking in his head for many years, so uh, it's not like he made this in a few weeks, but more like he was probably making this his entire life. I like all the, all my characters. I like the hero and Kalevartisha. I like all of them, but I do like the Wild Witch because, uh, for because of the practical reason, I really like to express my big angry voice, and I think that that character helps me uh, to do that and um, release maybe my uh, like angry dark side, and use my voice in the, in the way I've never used it before on public. I had a good feeling about this because I know Zhenya's music and I know how multi-talented he is and uh, he, he plays so many different styles and he adds like ethnic uh, music in it, rock music. So it's just a combination of different cultures and uh, uh, moods and styles. So I had a great feeling about this opera that is just going to be amazing.
When you in the rock band, you, you say like you in the living in the fast lane, you get the verse chorus and the intro done, and then you send it to a radio, and the radio guy is like, bro, like it's like 17 seconds. I don't hear the song. You gotta get that those those chords crunchy, and I and I get I get to the point, you know. In this kind of format, music, to my knowledge, it's like watching a tree go. You just gotta be patient. You just gotta be patient what you try to do. And I am ready to take any challenge. So like if it's, if it'll take a couple of years or three years, we're ready to, um, let's say, portray to people what we're trying to do. We're trying to portray a folklore tale with, with a newer a, a rock twist to the audience. Why? Because we think uh, audience are ready for that, you know, and we're ready for that to present it in a sort of a newer and, um, you know, brighter style. That's it. Whole idea of like riding, riding a rock opera is coming uh, from my wife, Natalie. She's, she, uh, she said, hey, uh, your music is very theatrical, perhaps uh, perhaps you can uh, support my idea about the uh, Belarusian and Ukrainian folk, folk, folklore tale. I said, yeah, it's, it, it's good. And then I, and I said, listen, um, not only I'm into it, I already had some ideas about it a long time ago. So it's interesting. Um, two, uh, two minds things I like sometimes when you, when you marry it. Every time we go through the choices, every time we go or our own feeling, we accomplish something, something what inside each individual, what pushing us sometimes to the age, we even don't know ourselves. We learn about ourselves, about world around, about what inspire us when we moving when we go through that obstacles, when we touch other people, other creatures, other feelings, we grow and we change. Every single step in our life, it's about choice, this or that. And every choice make you move to different directions. And even you go through all your obstacles, you think you know everything else. You think 
you get it. In a final step, when you're actually facing what you wish all your life from beginning of your journey, but you're already a different person after you go through all experience what you have. You're different, you change. What choice you go to make by the end? Is waiting for me this mystery forest Will I die or survive or buried alive? My heart's beat is strong, I rely on my glove Dark night, you're my friend Give me shelter again Something needs to be Of the filthy old city To the forest where moss Draped over the trees Branches reaching like hands Of a fairy tale monster Every step hides the danger Everything has its teeth Dark mystery forest Fun flower place Fun flower place Fun flower place Trees and time standing still I will follow the You can tell your real, you know, personality by putting the powers in your hand, you know? So if you have all the power you need, are you going to be good or bad? And it's very difficult to, you know, get in a very distinctive, uh, distinctive uh, way to, to perceive, you know? And uh, what is it really good or bad? It comes down to that question, you know, is it good or bad? So there's so much uh, involved, uh, so much involved on the background of each person to decide what is good and bad. And it really become, it really comes down to, is there really love, you know? Do you really love, you know, your the person is next to you? What is your environment gonna respond to your actions? And when it comes down to it, it's very hard to survive in this environment, you know. The current flower holds a power that sometimes it, it, it's inimaginable how immense it is, how much the forest depends on it. If you take it from it, would the forest survive, you know? Would you be able to survive knowing that those creatures and all that environment in the forest would not. Is it worth it? I don't know if it's worth for all the power that you're gonna have in your hands. So this is a very hard decision to make, you know? But, and that comes down to the point that is the hero able to survive through this forest? I don't know. In each way I look at, it's, it, it makes it all, almost impossible <laughs> to survive through this forest. But the current flower kind of brings this to our attention as human beings, you know? If you are able to make a decision that it's gonna be a breakthrough into other people in the environment to survive or not, that decision, it's almost, you know, immediately a thing that it needs to be made, but how is it going to be, you know? And to the hero, there's so much power and importance and everything that's involved 
into this character. And I think it would be in any way uh, that this character would make, the, make his decision, it's impossible to survive <laughs> through this forest. For me, the fern flower, the whole idea of like, if the hero, you know, would would go through the forest to get something to save the very being of, of the human through through the forest, like filled with like something like mystical. So that something was like always on my mind since the childhood because. To be honest with you, I probably till the day till the day that I die, I, I live in a fairy tale of my own, which is in my head. So it's got, it's kind of crazy, but that's how it goes with my music. I don't really I don't really ever like left that. I believe in magic. I believe in like the fairy tale that that I actually build around me. So I look at everything that moves around me with that kind of an eye. So like I don't really have that like. So to me, it's like, oh, let's go right to tear the tail. I'm like, oh, the one that I'm living in. Yeah, let's just, let's just take another path. It's, it's, it's that simple. For me, it's that simple. What I learned about classical music, all 12 or 14 notes or all the microtones matter, you know? It's like you don't have just one hook. You might like for 
to comprehend something, so you write the melody line so people understand. But in my mind, everything goes. I have a huge orchestra in my mind the whole time. Perhaps there's gonna be flutes, perhaps there's gonna be leading crazy guitars, there's like drums and this and that, but, but I, don't really, I don't really have that. Like, like sometimes there is a lyrical point which we have to deliver because we do have a lyrical, you know, and, and a textual um, what we what we present to the public. So they have to understand the story. So the words are, are very important. But in a way that we that I would say, like it's it's words are as important as music. So the music, in my mind, should be complemented. You know, complementing the words. It never should uh, I would do the words, you know? They should work together, you know, kind of like, kind of like nice marriage, you know? <laughs> they just work together. Power to 